Welcome to The Wire, I'm Chris. Here is an Evo built in TimberTech, the same Evo built in Linear Flex technology, and the Evo again built in Future Shapes technology. So same shape, built in three different Firewire techs. Which is best for your surfing? That's what we'll cover today. For starters, we'll cut a section out of each surfboard so that we can see the differences in how each Firewire technology is built. But before we get to that, FST and TimberTech are the most ding resistant and robust against deck compressions. They're also the least likely to break in powerful surf. LFT is also durable but it's designed to develop footwells on the deck for surfers who prefer center stringers but want to explore composite material performance. Now let's explore FST. This Firewire tech uses a very light EPS foam core in between balsa wood rails that give FST its well-known wooden rail look in surf shops. The wood extends 12 millimeters into the core of the surfboard on each rail to give outstanding protection against rail dings and control the flex of the surfboard. The deck is supported by aerospace composite deck skins that extend the life of the surfboard by preventing dents from your feet, knees, elbows, and other stuff. Now it's important to notice that when you cut TimberTech in half, you can see that it looks the same, but it uses polonia wood as a deck skin instead of aerospace composite, and it brings that polonia wood into the rails instead of balsa wood. Now this means that in addition to the epoxy bioresins that have earned Firewire EcoBoard certification across all of the surfboards that we make, TimberTech surfboards have been certified gold level EcoBoard certification because it uses the natural properties of polonia wood to control flex and add strength to the board. Okay, finally, LFT. This is Firewire's vision for what a center stringered board is capable of becoming. It uses the same high density deck skin material found in FST boards, but it places that material down the center of a slightly denser foam blank for strength and flex control because LFT does not use wood in the rails as a stringer in the way that FST and TimberTech do. Also, if you look on the deck very closely, you'll see that LFT uses a much thinner deck skin so that the top of the board gets some foot impressions in it for surfers who are seeking that. So which Firewire technology will you have the most fun surfing? Click the link below to check out a demo day near you where this van will pull up and lay out surfboards for the whole morning that you can surf for free. You can also consider that when it comes to weight, TimberTech is around six pounds. LFT is lighter at about five and a half pounds. Finally, FST is the lightest at around five and a quarter pounds. Now if your surfing is sensitive to the way that boards flex beneath your feet, remember that FST has a torsional flex for spring out of turns, which is why Michelle Berez likes it. LFT has the neutral flex you'd expect from a center stringer, but with a quicker rebound. This is a favorite of Daniel Thompson, who you see surfing an Omni in LFT. Finally, TimberTech feels the stiffest beneath your surfing stance, which we can see Rob Machado feeling here. Lastly, if you're into data and science, you'll find the analytics behind how each Firewire technology relates to each other and other surfboards in the link below, and I'll leave that to you. And in the meantime, what's your favorite? What boards are you riding? What constructions do you like best? Tell us in the YouTube comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to put your finger on the pulse of all things Firewire, you can join The Wire. It's our all access entrance to video projects, behind the scenes, everything to do with Slater designs, Tomo surfboards, environmental initiatives that we're involved in, and so many other things. You can jump on board by clicking the link down beneath this video to join The Wire.